G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, still no uh, decision on the election, but with all the drama that's going on, Bitcoin just doesn't care. So it's finally broken above that $14,000 mark. More so really the $13,800 mark, but now it's gone into, you know, sort of price discovery almost. This, this is, you know, up there with the highest it's ever been. There's not a lot of uh, confluence between here and its last all-time high so things are looking super positive in that respect and I mean we can see we've now gone up to 420 billion dollars uh, that is quite impressive uh, and there we can see uh, BTC again slowly climbing up it's getting close to that 65% that I've talk talked about uh, gas has come down but look there's been a couple of movers ethereum's doing all right it's back up above 400 dollars although we'll have to wait and see if that's going to last uh let's have a look look what are the big movers at the moment in 24 hours so thor chain celsius are uh, doing extremely well synthetics network making a bit of a comeback uh and we'll have a look at that shortly i think uh i was almost uh ex well you know we'll have to wait and see but it bounced nearly from the mark that I put down. So, you know, some movers there, nothing kind of too major. What about losses? Any big losses? Uh, certainly have Uniswap. This is absolutely burning me. I thought I got into Uniswap at a great price. It continues to go down. Yearn Finance. Oh, anyone who got into that other than extremely early is going to be really hurting at the moment. So there's still some, you know, big dives. Uh, Aave not doing too well. OMG Network, but I mean, you know, they're sort of single digit losses, so they're not too much, but it's more this. They've been going down for quite some time. So yeah, we'll have to look out for what might sort of happen over the next few days, next few weeks. Now, something that really, really worries me is I'm gonna go over to here. Amid election chaos, Jeff Bezos sells $3 billion worth of Amazon shares. Now, the last couple of times that he's sold big amounts of shares, there's usually been a crash not long after it. So I am extremely, just more cautious at the moment, not overly worried, but I do fear that there could be a really big correction coming. Now, if there's a correction coming in the stocks, there's no guarantee that it's going to come in crypto as well because they have been uh, uncorrelated for the last kind of few weeks. But other than the last few weeks, we've been highly correlated. And I, I fear that that may happen again. So Jeff Bezos, he sold $3 billion worth of stocks. And last time he did something similar, yep, everything started to go down. And then after that, you know, the coronavirus happened and all that kind of stuff. So I am extremely cautious at the moment look any correction that happens is going to happen no matter what there's nothing we can do about it and it's not going to last forever i think it'll be more short term you know it may uh you know bring us down quite substantially though but it won't last forever i don't think it'll take us too long to get back up but the, the sort of flip side to that is crypto has been uncorrelated for a while and it's been doing well so maybe it's a possibility although i, I don't really consider it overly likely that if there is a crash in the stock market that a lot of the money gets taken out and gets put into cryptocurrencies so there is that possibility we'll have to wait and see whether that happens or not i don't know maybe we just become highly correlated again to the s p 500 and dow jones and things like that who knows but i am concerned he's just sold this many and now we'll go over and have a look at the chart so here's the dow jones this is where we were at the peak. We've set a lower high. And now it's looking like we might set another lower high. Look, uh, the last couple of days, this has really started to scream and really started to move. That's great. But it needs to break above this to break this kind of trend that's happening here. But also it needs to go above this to actually you know, truly confirm. If this comes up uh, and stops about here, then it hasn't broken this trend. Just this kind of trend that's happening here. So over the next few days, uh, you know, if there's still election uh, issues and we don't have a true winner, uh, you know, and there's court cases and all the rest of it going on, uh, and no stimulus is going to come until that is all sorted, and there's talk about that 
uh, being not till maybe next year with no stimulus. I think that's really going to uh, affect the stock markets and you know possibly the cryptocurrency markets. You know, crypto will do better if there is a stimulus package, but it may not necessarily need it. You know, some of crypto you could say is artificially inflated due to the stimulus, but I would say a majority of it is just people who are early adopters. So, you know, they're not really going to, uh, you know, well, I won't say that because they could, but they're unlikely to just panic and sell out of everything. Although, don't get me wrong, they they could definitely sell, but this is the Dow Jones that we're looking at. So it's setting lower highs, uh, and it's possible that it continues to go lower again. If we can't breach this over the next few days, uh, and it rolls over again, then troubling times. Let's go to the S&P 500. Now it's looking very similar, the same thing. It's rolled over, and now we're waiting to see if it's gonna roll over again. Is it going to break above this? And more so, will it break above here, the 300 and sort of 3,355 mark? If it doesn't, uh, watch out. I think there could be a really big correction coming. But look, you know, who knows? No guarantees, but I am definitely cautious at the moment. Look, I'm a long-term investor, so really whatever happens is going to happen and there's nothing I can do about it. And I can't predict it. I can take a guess, and that's what it is, an educated guess that a correction might be coming. But again, just because a correction comes in the traditional markets doesn't mean it's going to come in cryptocurrencies, although the chances really are fairly high. We're fairly correlated with it, at least uh, since, you know, you know, right before the pandemic, uh, you know, they started to sell off as well. And then this is more the pandemic down here. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Now, we get on to the cryptocurrencies. So, so Synthetics Network, as I said, I was looking for it to find a bottom. Now, there's no guarantee that it has found the bottom at the moment. We need a little bit more confirmation. But it almost came down and pipped right off where I thought it would. $2.60 sort of something. Now, it's dropped down to about $2.46. But it's made its way up pretty quickly. And now it's, it's hopefully finding some support here. But look, no guarantees. We'll have to wait and see over the next few days. This could roll over again and go even lower. But maybe I was pretty close to finding its bottom. So who knows, time will tell. It'll be really good if that is the bottom, uh, as I bought in a little bit higher. I think I bought in at around about sort of $3 flat. So I'm down a little bit already. But again, I don't have to try and time it exactly. Uh, and, and yeah, I was happy with my buy. We'll wait and see whether I'll be really happy with it or uh, really unhappy if it rolls over and goes even lower. Because if it continues to drop down, really this would be the mark where I'd be hoping it would find support. Don't get me wrong, it might only drop down to, you know, let's say $2.20 or something and then find support from there and go back up. But once it breaks this point here, really the only other sort of bit of confluence that we have where it's been before is around about here, which is $1.30. So that's quite low, but look, if it gets down to $1.30, I'll be buying more anyway. Uh, if it goes below $1.30, then yeah, I suppose we'll have to worry. But yeah, until then, I don't worry. All right. Ethereum. Now I thought it was going to break below this. It looked like it was, but it just wicked and it has found support on this trend line. Now it's a more shorter term trend line, but we can see it just bounced off it perfectly. So now it's sitting right on that $400 mark and we've just got to wait and see what's going to happen. Is this going to hold? Because this still could roll over at any time. And again, really up until sort of this point here, uh, you know, it could roll over and again it could even go up high and roll over here no one really knows but this is kind of let's say rough you know sort of d-day that i'm looking for for ethereum to really determine whether it's going to stay above 400 and follow this upwards trend or whether it's going to uh, break that and break out of the trend just because it breaks out of the trend doesn't mean it can't stay above 400 though maybe it gets above 400 and travel sideways just above 400 for quite some time but I'm waiting for this trend line here to see if this is just going to continue or if it's going to be broken. But a $400 Ethereum sounds pretty good to me. Uh, it's a shame I can't buy as much of it as I was when it's at 400, but anyway, uh, I'll just continue to dollar cost average. Now, lucky last, Bitcoin. And here we can see it has just been steady climbing, steady climbing, steady climbing. You know, there are still retracements there. Don't get me wrong. Let's have a look. Let's get the measurer out. What kind of retracement did we have there? So we had about a 7% correction. 
So, 7% not too bad. Let's go over here. What kind of what kind of correction did we have here? So a 4% correction. So nothing sort of too major. It just steadily keeps growing. Yes, it'll pull back a little bit, but you know, if we were to draw a trend line at the moment, that's the rough trend line right there. Yes, it dipped below, but it kind of bounced off it uh, and is staying well above it. And so we'll have to wait and see, is this going to hold? But it's the zooming out part that we need to do. So this always takes a little bit of time to load. Now we need to start looking at where we are because we have broken above a peak. The only other sort of peak we had was our old all-time high. So I am suspecting that we'll probably maybe go up a little bit higher, come back and retest this before we start to really move upwards. But also if there's a big correction in stocks, uh, I think you know testing the 12,500 would be quite easy. But also, I think it's quite possible we come back down and test this kind of 10,000, maybe even down around the 9,000 sort of $800 level. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I'm just saying it's a possibility. We need to have that in our minds to make good strategies and plans. You can't just always plan for the best and think everything's always going to go up and nothing bad will ever happen. But you don't just want to dwell on uh, it always being bad and it always going to fail. That makes you a bear. Uh, and you know, while being a bull is nice, we can't always be bullish. There's always possibilities uh, of a downturn and we've had a pretty good move uh, for a while now. And again, really since down here, we've had uh, a pretty good move. That is not bad at all. How long that's going to last before we have a sort of, you know, what some people might call a scary correction. This one was pretty good. Let's say there was some market manipulation going on in there. Uh, that was around about sort of 20%. But my personal belief is that I don't think we'll see any big retracements in Bitcoin unless all markets start to, you know, go down. Then there's a chance Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies will do the same. But if Bitcoin continues on its way, I don't think there's going to be any major retracements until after maybe $25,000, $35,000, uh, you know. The people who got in early and will like to, will want to try and manipulate the market, uh, it's too hard to manipulate the market at the moment. This is where that kind of uh, news came out about uh, micro strategy and even sort of back here. So someone, you know, or maybe not someone, but an institution or something could do some manipulation from there. But really now trying to manipulate the market, it's just getting bought no matter what. So I'm sure they're all realizing pretty quickly that we can't force the market to take a big dump at the moment uh, and buy back cheaply. So I don't think anyone's going to try and do too much market manipulation and I think more and more people are going to pile in and institutions will keep to pile in. But that's not to say it can't roll over and come back and test again, maybe 13,800, you know, possibly even 12,500 if there's some bad news. Time will tell. All right, I won't take up any more of your time. Stay safe, be kind to one another. We should all be on that game train and I'll see you next time.